guys it's your girl new i'm back with another video and today i just came here to chat with y'all so i'm on my phone tell me why i'm washing clothes and first of all let's let's go back i went to the market now i went to this market in upstate new york called tops instead of wegmans today i like wegmans however on the way to wegmans i needed to stop at the gas station so okay let's rerun it i needed to find a place that had an ATM. None of those pieces stores around here had an ATM, which is only one piece of store that was directly across the street from where I was at. I had my mask on because, guys, I was just so, so sick. And I don't know what was wrong with me, but I don't have time for the germs. Plus, I'm outside. I'm not in a, in a place. Anyway, I literally stop and behave. Sit down in your own space now. Stop and behave. Do you understand? Sorry, guys, I had to talk to my children because I don't feel like that. Like, I'm a real mom all the time. Now, sometimes I don't come in here being fake. Oh, stop. No, stop and behave. That's it. Anyway, I had to find an ATM, so I ended up finding one at a gas station that was down the street so that I can wash my clothes and dry my clothes because the Airbnb I got, I thought, like, I could have sworn that, well, not sworn, sorry. I don't want to do that. Rewind. I thought that it had a washer and dryer inside of there. However, it didn't. I don't know what I was... I don't know. My mind was scattered, okay, guys? Anyway. So, it, but it's, it's so convenient around here because the washer and the dryer, the laundromat is literally down the street. It's literally like a million of them everywhere around here. Like, and it's no, it's not far. Like, if you didn't have a car, it wouldn't be nothing for you to walk down the street just to wash your clothes. That's how convenient the stuff is around here. Anyway. So, the people around here are just looking at me so strange. And I don't know if it's because I'm a Muslim or if I'm black or if it's both. But I don't appreciate it. Like, and I haven't really experienced that the couple of days that we were here which is so shocking to me not not shocking in a sense that you know is is not here or racism doesn't exist it's just shocking that you know we we can't go anywhere in the world without people staring at us like they've never seen us before like we're some kind of foreign cockroach or something like come on with the bull crap. You know what I mean? I wish people expand their mind and stop having a, the brain of the size of a pea. Because just because you people or your kind of people, should I say, can afford nice things, we can too. Times have definitely changed for us um African American people and excuse me for saying um cuz I'm I'm better than that. I don't like to say um. But times have changed for us. We're highly educated and we've been highly educated. And and you guys can't take anything from us and we're not having it. We're coming up on everything. And that's just that. And anywhere you see us at, it's because we belong there. And it's because our funds can take us there. And even further. And I just want to say that today. Because I went to the supermarket and the girl that worked there was Caucasian. And she was literally staring at me. And I had to say, Hello? Because it was so offensive that she would stare at me. What are you staring at me for, first of all? Secondly, if you are a racist, keep it to yourself because I am really not the person that you want to play around with. And I'm going to just be straight up and down with it. I am not violent, but I'm highly educated and I don't take no bull crap. And I never will take that kind of bull crap ever, ever, ever. And my children will know that my son is brown, a darker brown. My daughter is light skinned. However, they're both African-American. They will know that they are not going to tolerate it and they don't have to. And, you know, we don't have to get violent and ghetto. We can our education is going to take us far because I was two seconds from calling the police on her and filing a police report against her. You know what I mean? Because I'm just not your girl for that. I don't play that kind of stuff. For one, I am not a racist. I love people of all color. You know what I mean? I don't even see color, to be honest with you, and I don't teach my children that. If you have a nice personality and you're you're kind-hearted, that's enough for me. I don't care what color you are. You know what I mean? So I just didn't appreciate that. Like she was just she kept staring. She was the girl at the self-checkout, and I went to self-checkout. But Grant, to come in the door, I had to walk past self-checkout to come in. That's how their store was set up. 
So I'm like, what the heck is she staring at in my head? I literally was like, hello, how are you? And she didn't say anything. Yeah, because I see you looking and I want you to know that I see you staring and stop to stop doing it. I don't like it. If you want to stare, say hello. And if you don't want to say hello, turn your eyes somewhere else. There's it's a million other things you can look at in this store. There's a million other people in this store. Then when I was in the self-checkout line waiting to check out, she was staring again. So I'm just like, I said, what is it with you? Honestly, I said, it's very annoying that you're sitting here staring at me for no reason at all. It's so annoying. She says, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you are sorry. You're a sorry individual for doing something like that. Don't do it again. Then it was the self-checkout line, but I couldn't see around that way, which was available for me to check out. And this other man who was Caucasian, he was like, ma'am, um, there's a self-checkout that's open. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but he was waiting in line behind me. And I was like, oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. I said, I'll go. Thank you so much for letting me know. But the thing is, that is your job, self-checkout girl, cashier. That's your job to let me know what's available. But see, you're so ignorant that you don't even want to tell me that something is available. You don't even want to do your job effectively to the best of your ability because you're racist. That's a shame. That's a shame. That's a shame. It's a shame. And I, I'm so sad for the Caucasian community, to be honest with you guys, and not the whole community as one, but the community that are racist. It's, it's actually sad. It doesn't insult me or hurt me that you are this way in life. It's actually disgusting and it's sad and it's pitiful. And you guys need to stop. You need to stop. It, it, it's not, it doesn't serve you well to be this way in life. And it doesn't affect us in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Because I'm the African-American who's going to go above and beyond when you come my way with that bull crap. I, I will put you behind the jail. You will be incriminated for your criminal acts that you're doing out here. Trust me when I say, I'm not going to beat you up. I'm not going to curse at you because I am better than it. And I know better. Since you want to act like you don't know better, you can go and get locked up. That's it. Learn from your mistakes. Stop doing it. It's annoying. It truly is. Like, it's just, it's not even annoying, but it's just like, why are you doing that? You have no reason in the world to be this way. It's actually stupid and it actually speaks volumes to your character and actually to your intelligence. It's, <laughs> it just lets me know how stupid you really are. Honestly, that is pure stupidity to me. To hate someone because of the color of their skin or to try to act like someone don't belong or go out your way to just be mean in silence is just ridiculous and it's pitiful and it's disgusting seriously whoever is racist you guys are the scum of the earth the scum and you're probably even worse than the scum of the earth to be honest it's no reason in the world to be that way it's ridiculous stop it but on to other things <laughs> I came on here to vlog that, and then the man, even at the laundromat, he's literally a racist too, and you can tell because I'm coming there and he's staring, and I'm just like, like what? It like what? You know, like what? Granted, we're the only African American people that I've been seeing so far. I've seen one African American man at Wegmans and one African American man at Tops that were grocery shopping, but all the other community were Caucasians. However, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Anyway. I just don't like it. And he's an old man, too, that works at the lunchman. He's literally like 100 years old. Why are you a racist? You're too old for that. Like, I, And when I say too old for I mean, like, you have been on the earth for a very long time. You should know better by now. I'm 28 years old, and I know better about the bull crap. You should know better. It's just disgusting. I'm just looking at him. And he knows, like, not to mess with me because you don't intimidate me. You don't insult me. And I am not afraid of your stupidity. I am not. I, I will go head on with you the right way, though. And that's what they don't expect from us. Like, they think we're so dumb. And we're, no, we're, 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 all of that is over. We're smart. We're capable. And we belong <laughs> wherever our funds are going to take us. Let me just say that. And that's just it. 
anyway guys i came to chat with you guys about that <sighs> besides that i've been having a good experience though even that didn't make me have a bad experience i just felt like i wanted to talk about it with you guys because that's just pathetic and it's just a shame it's just like you people should be ashamed of yourself whoever you are that are racist uh stop it you need to be ashamed of yourself and you need to stop and youtube do not try to flag my video or anything because this is a real talk and this is real experiences that i've experienced here in upstate new york is bullcrap so do not flag my video i'm not cursing on here i'm not insulting anyone i've been i've they tried to insult me but it didn't work and i'm just speaking on it because it's real life and yeah we need to speak about it black lives matter actually all lives matter but black lives matter too don't take it lightly i just came on here to let y'all know don't take no crap from anyone okay if you guys feel like someone is being mean or a racist or anything that they don't have no business being to you don't let it fly don't let it slide don't be violent though use your mind use your brain you understand hit them where it hurt Call the police, make a police report, get those people in trouble. Let them know it's not playtime is over. All of that killing black people and doing all that nonsense y'all was doing, you know, history trying to repeat itself. We're not having it. We're stronger than that and we coming up on top. My African American community. Okay. Now my Caucasians, I love y'all too. Because I have some Caucasian people who are very nice to me. And I appreciate y'all. I really do. But the ones that are racist, kick rocks. Come on, for real. Go ahead with all that. We 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 don't have time. We don't have time. Thank you. Bye. If you're intimidated by us, then that's on you. That's a personal problem. You need to look yourself in the mirror and have a talk with God and move on. That's it. Anyway. Besides that, we've been having a good time, guys. We just recently came outside. So we've been outside, I think, for like two hours now or an hour now. Everything is so local, so we didn't have to drive far and it's sunday so i have a paper two papers to write for school well one paper but i'm gonna write both of them and get it out the way then i'm gonna start dinner early that way dinner can already be done so when i get back to the place i'm going to put dinner on i'm gonna make some baked chicken wings and chicken caesar salad no excuse me baked chicken wings and a caesar salad no chicken in there just like vegetables and cheese and egg and stuff but and probably avocado maybe but yeah i'm gonna put that on so it can already be on i don't know why my key is looking so funny today put that on so it can already be on and then what else i'm going to do do my paper i really don't have much to do because i cleaned up yesterday and literally though it, it wasn't much to clean up but i ended up cleaning up yesterday and stuff like that even though i was sick i'm better today i am so thankful to god like i'm telling y'all because i was feeling horrible but i feel so much better today and that's what i'm gonna do i'm probably gonna call my mom and my sister and facetime them chat with them i'm probably gonna go sightsee actually that's what i'm about to do now i'm actually about to go sightsee and look at the houses around here because the houses are beautiful. I need to go get a bag because I do my bag in the trash. Like I told you, I'm at the laundromat. I threw that bag in the trash. I washed the other laundry bag that the clothes were in. But I asked the guy, oh, sir, do y'all sell plastic bags here? He was like, no. <laughs> very rude, but I was very polite. Because, you know, I'm a kind human even when I don't feel like being so kind inside. I still just be a kind human because that's important to me and that's important to god so and that's why god always looks out for me like for real god is always looking out for me guys you wouldn't believe it i mean but i guess people who genuinely know me would believe it because i'm a genuinely nice person i have a big heart and i like that about me anyway guys make sure y'all like comment share and subscribe and this is so for me i'm going to consider this day two in upstate new york even though we've been here since february the second and it's already february the sixth or the fifth or whatever day it is <laughs> this is like my second time really being outside so i haven't really been outside to be honest so yeah see y'all